buck watching us. What's that? There's a, there's a two bucks watching us. Three really? bucks watching us. Oh, look at the one. The far right, the right one's the biggest one. Oh, it's not that big. Do you see the one coming down the hill? Yeah. What about these two down by the tree? They're not over. The center one's tall. What about the dough the, coming out of the draw. The one to the right of the tree. Holy That's a huge five, Jeff. Shoot that one. Which one? The one on the ridge. There, he's coming down. He's coming down. Just be quiet. He'll come down to a stop. There's a brush pile right there. Are you sure he's on the right? Yes. Got him. Nice. Reload, reload, reload. He's, he's, his head's up, his head's up. Just hold on, hold on. You're good. God bless America, that's a big buck. Nice. Double kill. <laughs> that's a that's big deer. <laughs> you pulled the double, man. And you shot a toad. He's got crap all over. Dude, it's a huge dude. Oh, it's a huge dude. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh my word. That is. Dude. Dude. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> I am so glad I listened to you. That's a huge deer. I don't know if I've ever seen a more symmetrical five point that big. I have never seen that big of a white tail on the ground. I was like, Jeffy, shoot that deer. Shoot that deer. I couldn't see that he was that good. Friends sharing memories, guys. This is why we do it. This is what we love to do. This is our lifestyle and what we dream about every year. Thanks for watching. Damn, baby. <gasps> oh, baby. <laughs> That's the daddy, baby. Give me some. Get some of that. <sighs> John, hey, we just killed daddy. Is that the big boy? That's the daddy. Didn't the shot look good? Yeah. I thought I heard him fall right over there. It just seemed like he... I can't see him. Was he? Folks, well, before I go get my hair, I want you to take a look at something. We're not, me and the cameraman, we're not 10 feet off the ground right here. You know, every time you don't have the opportunity, you can't get 25 foot up a tree. Right here, we only can get 10 feet. And I tell you what, we got good camo working in up there. And we picked our time to move properly when, we, when he had to pan to get on the camera, get on the deer, and when I had to draw my bow, that's the key. Staying good and still and getting good and camoed up. I'm gonna go over here and find my arrow, I think. Right up here, that's where I, here's the trail I think he was on right here. He was 35 yards, okay, that's 30. That's 33 right there, so he had to be standing right up in here. A couple more yards up here. Here we go, here we go, there's blood right here. My tail on that broom sage. He cut, that, that, there's my arrow broke off right out here. Here we go, he run right through here. You can see, he broke that limb right there coming down this hill. Oh yeah, hey, <laughs> good sign all in here. Yes sir. I feel real good. That I didn't get a ton of penetration, 
and I'm shooting a 29 inch arrow. So basically that had to go all the way through and lodge in that off shoulder. And there's good blood all the way down through here. I don't think there's... Yep, he come through here. There's a good sign through here. You see where he broke some of these limbs out. He can't be too much further. I know, when I let that arrow go, my first instinct, I felt good with it. And usually, that's the case. If you feel good with it, your first instinct, usually that's the case right there. There he is. There he is. Good gracious. Would you look at this buck right here now, folks. Folks, I don't know what to say. This. He gradually started snaking his way through the timber towards us. I saw that he was about to reach a gap in the timber broadside. Without getting a solid range on him, I just gave Jordan my best estimate on how far I thought the deer was. 38, probably. Jordan was pretty positive that he'd shot right over the buck's back. We were both super disappointed, thinking that we had just blown a second opportunity on a buck of a lifetime. Before starting our search, we sat down and reviewed the footage really quick. Even watching it in slow motion, we couldn't tell if it was a good shot or not. We crept forward and looked for his arrow. Blood, blood. All of a sudden, he turned to me with a huge smile on his face, saying he found blood. As we followed the blood trail, we could tell it was a fatal shot. Jordan had an arrow knock just in case. I'll never forget following Jordan as he scanned the forest floor for any sign of blood. I remember looking over his shoulder and seeing the biggest whitetail of my friend's life laying there at 20 yards. <laughs> 